Hey Wanderers, and welcome back to the Wandering Gamer Network plays Lego Harry Potter Year 2. I'm Cody. I'm Zach. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Mandy. Woo! That was a good intro, guys. Right, we've got this down to a science now. Just go down the line. Yep. Or don't worry, this next episode uh, we're going to screw start. it up real bad. There we go. Yay, Yay. Caitlin's in the game. Alright, let's continue. Now we get to remember all the buttons. <laughs> this is a new Yay. recording session, and I don't remember where we were. Yeah, it has been a little while since we have recorded this, so we'll see how it goes. It's almost like we're busy during the holiday season. Right? Actually, yeah, everyone, Merry Christmas. This is going to come out after Christmas, but Merry Christmas! Woo, and Happy 2018! Yeah, Happy New Year. Yeah, have we gotten probably... to Christmas in year two yet? Year? I don't you think know, I think that you guys are coming up on it, so this might okay. be a Christmassy episode, Perfect. actually. I don't think oh. Christmas in year two... Re- what happened in Christmas in year two? Um, oh gosh. Does anything happen, or is it just, like, there? Mm. Oh, that's that's around the time that they do the uh, Polyjuice Potion. I'm taking it's around a, Christmas. I'm taking a minute to okay. remember. Because oh, they're sorry. having a Christmas Whee! cookie party, and that's when they poison uh, Crab and Goyle. Oh yeah, so we will get... Gosh, I oh, have no memory of that. I think we already did it technically. Gosh, get on my level, Caitlin. Okay. Need to learn these books. Yeah. Oh, there he is. But instead, she's just <gasps> reading yes! the expanse. Because it's the best. Follow the spy. Wait, what are you reading? Follow the expanse. The Leviathan. Oh, Rise. yeah, yeah, yeah. The book that I can't get from the library. Yeah. Stop shooting me. <laughs> I need to sound quite so hurt. I mean, I'm pretty hurt about it. It's like, this book's awesome. You, you can get it from the library now. And then I go to check it out, and it's like, you're 13th in line. Like, well. Well, season three comes out in February. I'll so get this in a year. To do with it. Speaking oh, of go sci-fi d- shows. Go down the yes. stairs here. I feel like this is a good time to talk about my feelings on the series The Magicians. <laughs> it is appropriate. Because it is not unlike oh. Harry Potter. <laughs> Is in fact specifically like Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, but, but don't, then different. <laughs> don't be fooled by that when you think it's like Harry Potter. It's not, cause it's garbage. Yeah, I think I've seen it on lists of like books to like help you get through your Wait, Harry Potter withdrawal, and it's how like is no. it not like Harry Potter then, Cody? No, that's not a book. <laughs> to do. Yeah. I'm kidding. I actually uh, think Harry Potter is a decent series. Yeah, I'm just I'm just so done with that. I don't know. I mean, I keep saying that, and then I keep watching the show. And I listened to the first book, and they're both just terrible. Yeah, so if you're a fan of The Magicians, let us know why. Yeah, right? In polite and thorough detail. <laughs> no, don't be polite. You have to You have to give the review that I read from, um, what's his name? Gosh, who did not Lord of the Rings? Man, I'm pitiful. <laughs> Are you talking George R. R. Martin? J.J. Abrams. Oh. No, George oh. R. R. Martin. I was just, like, <laughs> trying to find it. Where am I? What am I stuck I, I, on? I don't know, Freaking. but come this way. So, Flower pot. I was re- when I when I got the book, The Magicians, the first one, it had a little, like, quote from, you know, Martin saying, um... The oh, that one. Yeah, The Magicians yeah. is, like, a shot of whiskey to Harry Potter's, like, weak, weak. iced tea. Yeah. And I'm like, no, The Magicians is just stupid. <laughs> Like, it's just dumb, and the sci-fi show makes it way dumber. Because, like, here's the issue with The Magicians, is it's, like, the premise of it is, let's make let's make Harry Potter, but we gotta make it sexy. We gotta sex it up. And, you know, and make, make, it, it, more interesting. make it, like, realistic yeah. and gritty. The problem is, right, all the characters are, like, actually 13 to, like, 16 throughout the story. Like, it starts with someone starting high school and then finishing high school, right? So it's four years. The character starts when they're 13. Or 14 and ends up being 18, right? Caitlin, this right? is important. Are you ready? Okay. And oh, so shoot. the problem is they have those characters in the shoot, book, like, it. having sex okay, and doing drugs ready? and, like, having orgies and stuff, you know? Which, whatever, be edgy, but then when sci-fi wants to do a show of it, they can't exactly have, like, a ton of drug-using 13-year-olds. So instead, they have it be, like, graduate students... But then keep the tone of, like, an idiot 13-year-old. Of, like, the angst. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, the main character's obsessed with basically the Chronicles of Narnia, which is just, like, the most petty thing to be like, oh, we're gonna make the Chronicles of Narnia edgy and freaking cool. Yeah. Like, what if it was the Chronicles of Narnia, but all the deer did drugs? <laughs> Ugh, magicians. <laughs> like, oh, you're so cool. Look, look, you did a cool thing. I get it. So, like, the main character's obsessed with those oh, books, and I'm he's all self-conscious down. about it, but I'm like, what master's student in a liberal arts field <laughs> is self-conscious about his love if you, of if Chronicles yeah. of Narnia. If you press Y, you start going higher. Oh, okay. They freaking uh, write uh. books about it. They don't be like, uh, no, no oh, one I'm understands sorry, why I love it. Uh. 
Yeah, and the, he's like self conscious about it, and then like all his friends are like, "Oh yeah, I like that too," like secretly as well. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Everyone, everyone's like a secret fan of this thing that like. Yeah. Man, I told people what books I liked the first day I was in college. That was like what we talked about was, yeah. "Do you like Chronicles of Narnia or not?" But no, no, no. He's a self loathing grad school, and everyone smokes because they're cool and edgy. Sorry, <laughs> I accidentally hit something. I mean, okay. I haven't read the series, but one of my favorite things I make fun of Caitlin for is from that series. <laughs> What's that? Well, she was telling me about how weird it was. Like, they go to, like, this is, I guess, mild spoilers for the book. They go to Antarctica and, like, all turn into foxes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she's like, and then who? they have a fox orgy, yeah. Right, no, no, they have that. And she's like, who campaigns for this stuff? Like, hey, do people go to book conventions going, more fox sex? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I'm just gonna go to book conventions with a sign that says, more fox sex, and start chanting it. <laughs> so every so often, I'll just bring that up in rel- in related context. Oh, there was some there was some animal movie that just came out, <laughs> and like they show like foxes like just running around. And I just turn to Caitlin in the movie theater and go, "More Are fox sex." Are you talking sex. about Star Wars with the Arctic foxes? No, okay. no, uh, no Star Wars. Well, I guess this is gonna come out so much after Star Wars. Oh, oh no, Hagrid's nervous. If people have seen the trailer, they know the little crystal foxes are there. It's yeah. not a spoiler. Hey, we're not gonna we're gonna wait to talk about Star Wars for when we play Lego Star Wars. Sweet. That'll be a much more appropriate time. Yeah, but I mean, we could talk about it now because we just saw it. But then we'll have to put like a spoiler warning. We'll do that in the next episode. I still want to finish talking about how much I hate the magicians. Okay, keep <laughs> on. So that's the first issue. It's just tonally, it's weird to have plots that make <laughs> sense for a 16-year-old that don't make sense for a 25-year-old. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the show should be more relatable to me because the main character is explicitly exactly my age. <laughs> And it it makes it so much less relatable. Wait, Dumbledore isn't arrested in this one, is he? Isn't yeah, it Hagrid? yeah, he is. I thought it was Hagrid. It's both. No, no, Dumbledore's not arrested. Dumbledore's kicked out of school. They don't uh, want him to be headmaster anymore. Okay. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, we have another one of those stupid hornet things. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, so then here's another <laughs> yeah, way that they make it. it edgy, right? Because they want to make it edgy. So, like, all of the students, and there I mean all of the students, are having sex with their teachers. And again, you that's have to not, remember... That's not in the books, though, is it? It is! Is it? Yeah, it's like Which a one? big plot point that uh, the, um, like... S- it's not the main character, it's like the sub... It's one of the main supporting characters. Uh-huh. Her brother turned into a Niffin because he transformed his girlfriend who had sex with a professor back after she wrecked her face trying to make herself prettier for her professor who's like 50. He's the gross guy oh. that makes people have a fox orgy, by the way. Yeah. So again... Wait, what's a Niffin? A Niffin is when you use too much magic and then you become like a pure magical being. Like, you, you lose all your humanity and just become like a being of magic. Is that a thing in actual, like... Folklore? I don't freaking know. <laughs> but I mean, like, griffins are like a thing. Like, a yeah. griffin is always a griffin. I don't know. You could Google Niffin and see what it says. It's stupid, though, is what it is, but that's fine. So, like, that's creepy. Hang well, on, it was weird here, I think, when it, it was like this 50 year old man having sex with like an 18 year old. It's real creepy when it's a 16 year old, though. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah. he is old. And anyways, he gets banished banished to Antarctica for that. You know, he doesn't go to, like, jail for being a pedophile. They yeah. just send him to Antarctica, and then when students get right about to 16, they send him there at their most vulnerable. You know, uh, what could go wrong? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, but he's he's a good guy, though. You know, it's because that just makes him more edgy. So <laughs> stupid. How many of those books did you read? I just read the first one. Is there just three? I don't know. Um, I think there's at least three. three. I know there's two, Yay. and I did not read the second one because I just did not have the patience for no, more angsty I didn't garbage. Either. Oh, did you read the first one? I read the first one, yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's What's her name? Um, um, Alice? Yeah, Alice's older brother. Okay. He turned into a Niffin when he tried to save his girlfriend. Okay. What is a Niffin? A n- pure magical being. Me. <laughs> okay. Bandy, if you're not going to pay attention to my <laughs> rantings. I am trying to play the game here. The thing um. that confused me most is that I have a friend... Who Who's read a Niffin? No, who read the first <laughs> book, and this is the friend who thought um, Mistborn oh, shoot, shoot, was shoot. too violent. Shoot! Like she, like that. That was that's how they viewed Mistborn. Like it was too violent. And they didn't really like it for nest. that. Yeah. And then she read the first Magicians, and then proceeded to read the second one. Yeah, I, I, I think don't know, she read the whole trilogy, and I was like, but why? I, I don't think, think you liked the though, first one. Is less violent. It's just like. There's violence in it, but it's very few and far between. Mostly, it's just, like, people standing around and smoking and talking about how awesome they are. Yeah, but I thought it was, like, 
the violence, it wasn't more... It wasn't so much... I was just surprised that uh, the other stuff would not be objectionable if the right. violence was. Right, like the fox orgies and yeah. everyone being on drugs and drunk fox constantly. Orgy. Yes, that. Remember, Mandy, whenever whenever in doubt, just go to a book convention and chant <laughs> more fox sex. Well, and like, I don't know. It's like a lot of the characters are like in identity crisis. That's what the book's about is like mm -hmm. all of these young characters dealing with the fact that they have power and are still figuring out who they are, right? So, like, one of the characters I just jumped over is, it. like, he grew up in the middle of nowhere and, like, the oh, bread like the bread bowl of America as a farmer and then um, was, like, kind of, like, bisexual. So or he on. is bisexual and he's also uh, kind of, why? like, metro. So he oh, was hated a lot, right? To it. Oh, sorry, you guys can figure out how to play the game. No, <laughs> the, the dog cannot fly a broom. Also, I, I Ginger's can't why. swim. <laughs> Just just paddle boat it. It'll be just tugboat it. Ron can't swim. Ron can't swim. Ron just doing exactly what Ron does at every moment. Like, Ron, get on the broom. We gotta fly. He's like, I'll just swim. Hang on there. How do I switch my spell? Oh shoot! Thing? Dang it. There we go. No, you could just turn into a dog instead. Okay. Or no, that was Mandy. <laughs> I was making fun of the wrong person. I don't know if Ron could have gotten over there, though. Here, helped you. Yeah, no, get up, get he up, get up. Get oh up my god. Can't. Can he fly a broom now? No, if you come over here. <laughs> over here. <laughs> to the clear ramp. No, just jump at the wall more. <laughs> oh my <Frick>. gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'll help you. Gosh dang it. You can do it. <laughs> it's okay, you're doing a really good impersonation of movie Ron, not book Ron. Stop moving when I'm Whoa, not moving. Whoa, Harry's gonna fall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, we can do this. Do you ever Don't. feel a little mean laughing, Cody? No, never, never. Uh, and I mean, I might come off as mean, but Caitlin's ruined so many things that I love, so... And by so many, I basically just mean one. It happened, like, one time, but I'm pretty sour <laughs> about it. Better. It was two things. Was it two? What was the second one? Krampus. Did she ruin Krampus? When, you, when we fought him in our Pathfinder game. I thought she ruined the the horse. She that one was more, but Krampus like he, Krampus comes out and she cast I cast cast blind on him. Oh yeah, gosh, yeah, and just, it just <laughs> ruined your boss entirely. It really does ruin a lot of stuff because he failed to save and just was blind an entire fight and yeah, died. I remember that. <laughs> um, and then the headless horseman was the next. Yeah, one. the headless horseman was where I made a character in Pathfinder that I thought was like. It wasn't in the book, and it did not have book-style effects. So like, there's... Yeah, you homebrewed your own effects. Right. Basically. So there's, like, spells that negate book-specific effects. Like, some things have the ability to make you sleep, right? But I didn't use those. So I was like, there's no way that someone's just going to come up here and ruin this guy. But I wrote on his on his little player card that I made for him, he has this ability, Charge. And then Caitlin had one spell that was just like, uh, things once they're hit with this can't charge. Like, that's his whole... <laughs> Jam. That's like the whole thing. <laughs> right. That's you're like, I, ma I made this up. To what? It, why? Revolved you, around. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like in those movies when you see someone's like heart literally break. You know, where it's just like, it was just so disappointing. Like you hurt. It kind of hurt looking at Cody's face. He's just like, but, but, um, and then he was like angry. Like, oh, we don't have that. We don't have to have that happen. <gasps> no, I can't charge. <laughs> Yeah. How'd you get up there, Mandy? Um, if you go over to the left, okay. there are. I feel like there's something there's else. A ladder, that she, but like, I'm also working on trying every to get so this often. She so does something that out. you're just like, come on, man. Right. Um, what was I saying about the magician? So I kind of lost my train of thought a little oh, bit. Oh, like we were talking about the like downsides to it. Yeah, the, the thing that bothers <laughs> oh, me too is, is how to it? is how self sabotaging all the characters are yeah it's, and that's what that's and that's weird. like a personal thing like yeah. some people that doesn't bother them well but... i think it's a thing that like a 16 year old will do like but a 25 year old really doesn't anymore like you get over that like no i mean i think you can it's just not fun to read about you yeah <laughs> you what? could definitely self-sabotage well, 25 but... right but i mean okay. i feel like it's less common and when every character does it so... it feels weird does that, does that make sense yeah Hey, Harry, can you please help Ron get up this cliff? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling sad. <laughs> I'm working on it. Like, in the show, there was this part but where... I, I also do you guys care about spoilers for The Magician? No. no. In fact, no. I find it really funny when you complain about them. So, there's this part <laughs> oh, where... Sorry. This character, who, like, his backstory, right, is he was, like, okay. a farmer that... So, if you come here... Yes. Oh, sorry, I'll let you guys figure this out. And oh, you're showing her how to get up there. Yeah. I can't believe you're not going for that blue coin like crazy sauce. I already tried. 
Getting so, so oh, run, got it. Oh. <laughs> Stay as far as close to the side as you can. You gotta go around that route though. Yeah, jump. No, just yep. keep running into there the There you route. go. Okay. It's fine. And Talk about self sabotaging. <laughs> you, can, you can do it, Ron. <laughs> what am I running come forward, into? Come forward a little bit. You You're, can come forward a little bit. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. You just had to jump on Fang's back. So, like that, okay. his character is basically that he grew up in a rural area and was hated for his like sexuality and like his identity, like the way he presented himself. People hate him, right? So he's like hates his past and has a lot of self loathing from that, right? And there's a part where he like becomes the king of a broken kingdom and is trying to get it to put back together and he's like being an adult is so hard and i'm like you are 35 <laughs> like the actor playing him is not 25 he's 35 and he has grown up being like subjugated and miserable because of this i'm like you're not just now learning what it's like to be an adult you are not 16 <laughs> yeah you can't even pass for 25, let alone 16. You're like, ugh, adulting so hard. I'm like, what are you? <laughs> okay, so basically you just want to shoot these spiders. Oh, the little spiders? That complaints not kind of like... No, the little ones. The, the big, oh, so like the, the medium big set, The cat-sized ones. Oh, and then if it goes, then we're doing the same thing where you get it and Caitlin, what? how big is a cat? <laughs> That's bigger than a person. That is not cat size. Okay, well, it, it looks okay. The fair. It's like half it. the size of these little Lego the people. Relief. There we go. Gosh, tiger sized. <laughs> it's kind of like my thoughts. My, one of my problems I had with La La Land is like, it, oh yeah, like it's really hard to like have go. Emma right. Stone as like a struggling so we're person in Hollywood <laughs> who's like supposed to be eighteen or something. I'm like, you look like you're thirty because you're thirty. Like, like stop playing like, a sixteen year old. She did a good job, but it's okay, also like, so oh, get, I'm a famous actress it, now. B. Yeah, it's hard playing to, like, someone who's like, oh, B. I can't get yeah. a job in Hollywood. I'm like, and you're Emma Stone. Well, you gotta, yeah. you gotta bring right. it up. Oh shoot, I'm stuck. I can't do anything. Well, and my beef with La La. So Land, press B and then press B again, and it'll spin. Like okay, it. you gotta do it fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Also, why isn't Ron terrified of these? Right. I think it's because it's gay. This is like a real early Lego game where they okay, didn't add there you everything. Go. You know? Oh, yeah, that's true. Because, like, in the second okay. one, there's a level where Ron's terrified of spiders and it sucks. Dang it. Mandy, and just so spin the B spider. Is Sorry, I, I'm a little stuck here, Cody. <laughs> no, I'm really enjoying this. Level. I'm hitting you guys B are doing and great. It's not doing anything. Dang it. Oh, shoot. But, yeah. Oh, Hey, I, I don't know if you guys know this. You have to actually dodge those when you I, get hit by them. I'm gonna hurt you. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you made the flowers grow, though. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're in my way. Too, <laughs> right? To, like, like, in the front things. of the screen, you can't see nothing. One of you should focus on killing the brown. No, 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 no! Don't you don't help them with strategy. <laughs> <laughs> They're figuring this Why out. Why isn't it? There we there go. There you go. Do it. 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 Yeah. Is shooting it helping when you get it in the air? No, you just need to no. shoot the spiders that are on the ground. Okay. One of you needs to spin the spiders. The other one needs to shoot the, the brown spiders. Oh, here it comes. Oh no! It's really far under there. Oh dear. There we go. Ah! Brown spider. Ah! Caitlin. Yes. Hasta la vista, Aragog. <laughs> that is the best thing, is to watch Harry Potter 6 in Spanish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what does he say? Hasta la vista, Aragog? <laughs> yep. It's a really ah! serious scene. They're saying goodbye, and he just looks over. <laughs> Hasta la vista, Aragog. <laughs> it's oh my the gosh. best thing ever. That's pretty wonderful. Yeah. <sighs> I love how he gets, oh, one of you okay. gets a little scooter. This is really fun, though. I love- this is one of my favorite, um, <laughs> Why levels. Why does Aaron no, we have to fly? <laughs> no, car. we're not That's flying. True. Oh, good. I mean, <laughs> no, that is a flying watch. car. This so is about to get there. real nonsensical, though. Okay. Start um, driving, Caitlin. How do I- there Oh, gosh, there's a spider behind us! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The coins, <laughs> just, right? They're just barrel rolling. <laughs> oh my gosh, where are you? I don't know. Oh my gosh, you guys are so dead. <laughs> Wait, where are we supposed to go? Just, just follow the coins, right? Yep, yeah, just follow the coins. Okay, I can't see very far ahead of me though, because you're not caught up. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no. This no. is so bad. <laughs> oh. Aragog had to pick me up and hit me a couple times. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, I'm coming. Just keep going. Oh hey, you guys are almost caught there up. There we go. Look just keep you. going. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> 
I think that's the first time Caitlyn's ever led a level. I led the charge. Right? Um, you still do have a spider on the top of your car that you probably oh, really? should deal with. Yeah. What do I do? I don't know. I don't think she I can got it. I don't know what you did, but it's cool Oh now. my gosh, driving this stupid little <laughs> scooter is the most frustrating thing. Come These on. levels are always so hard. Yeah, the driving levels are weird, especially if you're trying 100%. You can never find the stuff when you need to find it. This one's, from what I remember, slightly better than, like, the Star Wars uh, ship battles. For getting some getting hit them. again. Oh, no. Because some of the, the ship battles were hard. Like, um, they've eventually figured out how to do them well, but... Let's talk about a long road to find out how to make a thing run well. Yeah, so my issue with La La Land, though, because I talked to my brother about this, and I had, like, a gut negative reaction to that. Because, like, there's a part of me that's, like, I understand, like, people are like, oh, you know, you gotta really be willing to sacrifice for your art and all this stuff, and I'm like, you know what? Some freaking studio greenlit this movie that's, like, just glorifying, mistreating young artists. Like, young, <laughs> idealistic, impression impressionable artists just... Just screw them over hard for their whole lives, and then they'll end up better for it. That's what that movie's about. And, you know, ultimately it was made by a studio that's like, we really need to pat ourselves on the back for treating an entire group of people like just the worst humans, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, dude, no. No, you're deciding how to make this seem like a good thing. It's not. It's horrible. <laughs> like, it's dehumanizing and miserable. Freaking just makes Hollywood seem like a fun little glitzy place like shut up yay <laughs> Dumb we did movie. it yay yeah i don't like the message but i enjoyed watching it i didn't i don't know i just had a lot of trouble taking the character seriously when it was oh, just oh, like so transparent of like being just like caricatures of real life you know like we're gonna oh. make it we're struggling oh. like shut up <laughs> so mad at everyone in this movie <laughs> Uh, this is what happens when you live in Indiana. You can't take a movie about how great California is <laughs> very well, seriously. It really hurts, though, when you have the movie about how great California is. And then we saw that movie trailer for Where's the Worst Place You Can Go on Vacation? Rural Indiana. What movie trailer was that? Like, oh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> where it's like, Indianapolis! Where's the place you, where you can make, make your life a little bit better? Or like... Or, like, where's the absolute worst place you can go on vacation? Where we live. <laughs> okay. Right. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to say this. I don't mind that my city's not mostly made of tourists. You know what? <laughs> That's fine with me. Yeah. I don't subsist upon horrible people coming here and acting entitled. I'm fine with that. <laughs> if you're thinking about coming here on vacation, don't. <laughs> my advice or go to go to like the children's museum and then leave <laughs> <laughs> and on that note i think we're gonna wrap up this oh episode. yeah we should end this episode yeah. here so we'll see you next time it's until next time keep wandering yeah. zach if you're gonna outro this you gotta get on point <laughs> here's the thing we just got to the episode in bastion like we just released it today the first episode of the ah, bastion thing word. and you groan when i say keep wandering <laughs> well that's because we <laughs> said bye and then you're like keep wandering like Anyway, you gotta do it or not. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hey, everyone, and thanks for watching this episode of the Wandering Gamer Network Plays Lego Harry Potter. If you'd like to hear more content from the Wandering Gamer Network, check out the link to our website in the description below. We have several actual play podcasts for games like D&D 5th Edition, Star Wars Edge of the Empire, City of Mist, and several other systems. So if you're interested, check it out. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time, Wanderers.